They were young and idealistic, so of course they set out to change the world. I didn't go into this work to be a celebrity. I went in to be a doctor for poor people. He has a very clear idea of what's wrong with the world and, and how to fix it. I was rather undirected and um, meeting poor farmers. I knew my life had changed. They started in Haiti with a simple prescription, do whatever it takes to bring health care to the poor. In the early 1980s, Harvard medical student Paul Farmer and Ophelia Dahl began working to establish a community-based health project in Conj, Haiti. The needs were so overwhelming that not much thought was given to exactly what they were setting in motion. The thing that frustrated me most was just seeing the disparity between what I knew to be correct and good medicine and what these people were getting. By 1987, they had teamed with another Harvard medical student, Jim Young Kim, and found a willing benefactor in Tom White, a New England philanthropist who was supportive of the work. With $1 million in seed money from White, Partners in Health was established as a public charity in Boston, along with its sister organization in Haiti, Zonmi La Santé, Creole for Partners in Health. From the start, PIH did not want to confine treatment to diseases and symptoms of poverty. They wanted to remove conditions that perpetuated. It's not enough just to give them meds. It's pretty good, but if you can also build them a house, if you can also make sure they have clean water, and if you can also send their kids to school, that's the right thing to do. Partners in Health is committed to erasing inequalities in health care and to demonstrating that quality health services could and should be provided to the poor as a social justice issue. If we could somehow be involved in a movement for equity in medicine, I think that we would be able to solve most of the world's medical problems. As PIH expanded by reputation and invitation to other countries, it has had a transformative impact on international health policy. Until very recently, conventional wisdom held that complex diseases like HIV AIDS and multidrug resistant tuberculosis could not be treated effectively in poor settings. PIH proved otherwise, developing a model of community-based care to successfully treat MDR-TB patients in the slums of Lima, Peru, and to provide antiretroviral treatment for AIDS patients in squatter settlements in rural Haiti. So here's a, a young mother of four. She's getting AZT, 3TC, and nivirapine, which is a, a very potent combination. And all three of those agents happen to be generics. And she started hers on the 5th of uh, June this year, and she went from 112 to 139 pounds. So, you know, th this whole argument that it's not cost effective to use these drugs, you know, she was about to be, they were about to be four orphans. Now that she's going to start work again, Please don't miss a single dose. And she said, I never have. And I believe her. Voila. I'll buy you sa. I'll buy me sa. Is it okay to write bravo in a medical chart? With PIH's help, national health authorities in Haiti and Peru have now significantly expanded these projects and developed models that others can replicate. PIH was invited to develop similar projects in Russia's civilian and prison populations and recently launched a program in Rwanda. <laughs> Elements of the PIH model of care have been disseminated to and adapted by other countries and programs throughout the world. In a reversal of its own protocols, the World Health Organization endorsed the PIH model for MDR-TB. PIH's comprehensive approach is based on five key principles. Offering free medical care for the poor. Providing a wide range of basic medical services. Attending to other basic human needs. Working to ensure the long-term sustainability of services. We can get the money. Sure we can get the money. 
and involving entire communities in the effort through health care training and economic development. Some former patients have become health care workers themselves, and others have gone on to train workers at additional program sites and even in other countries. We've made a lot of progress over the last few years in building systems so that lots of people, community health workers, nurses, doctors, uh, that they all can do this kind of work. And if we can keep spreading out laterally to cover more and more places, I think we'll be doing a service that's not just uh, going to affect a small group of people, but millions of people. Do whatever it takes. The founders of Partners in Health have managed to bring modern medicine to those who desperately need it. And in forging their own path, they have launched a global healthcare movement. <laughs>